All right, so we've got a little After Effects trick here today to make smoke, um, vapors, airflow, uh, kind of that effect um, that you could add to a cigarette or something that's on fire or a fan, um, something where you need kind of like that air effect. And this is just a little, I, I would say, kind of hack of a way to do it. There, there might be better ways to do it if you want to throw those in the comment, but this is something that we've used in the past um, and it seems pretty effective and it's pretty quick. So the first thing you're going to do is in your project you're going to add a new solid and you should make this about the size of the area that you want the smoke or air effect to take up inside your project. Um, so for this let's just do a square 600 by 600 and so this is kind of the, we'll call it the domain of where your smoke simulation is going to live. And we're going to do this by using the particle world um, effect, which it comes with Adobe, so just, or with After Effects, so just drop that in there. Uh, switch the particle from line to bubble. And then we're going to change, because we'll do a smoke one if you wanted to do something that was airflow you might change these to blue or white um, but we'll get some nice dark gray smoke and then we're gonna make it a little bit lighter and and what this is it's the birth color and the death color so the birth color is the color it is when it first appears and death color is uh, color it is when it disappears um, so as you can see here we've got these dark bubbles not what we're looking for um, so we will go in here we're going to change the physics from explosive to fire and now you kind of start to see that we're getting something that looks a little bit more like smoke um, and but I don't want this to appear kind of in the middle I, I want it to to come from this origin point down here let's say we had an object here that you wanted it coming out of come over here to your producer and you're going to move it down or up on the Y position depending on where you want it and all of this can be keyframed if you want the smoke to move around or you need to change it um, so we'll just put that right about there and then the other thing that we're going to do or, or you can do if this was a cigarette with some subtle smoke coming out maybe you would keep sm such a small origin point but I'm going to widen that up with the X radius okay so now we've got our bubbles coming from a little bit larger area and we want to slow it down just a tad and this can be tricky uh, you might have to play around with your settings but I'm gonna lower the, vo the velocity to something pretty low and see what that does and then I believe we can increase the gravity you can increase the gravity and then increasing the resistance Will help slow it down so you so you get something a little bit more like this and just depending on your needs maybe you need something faster or slower if, if you go too high with this i think your bubbles will just start to stay in place and and that's okay too just again depending on what type of smoke or airflow that you're trying to make so we'll just move this back up so that you can see it we're kind of almost done here um next thing we're going to do i'm just going to grab a blur and we will use the Gaussian blur and we're just going to drop it right on top of that solid after our particle um, world and then we can take that blurriness and we're going to move that way up alright so now it's starting to look like smoke that is what we want we can go maybe even a little higher um, and you know if you you could add a a second blur or a different type of blur uh, maybe a motion blur if you want to do something specific with the smoke um, but obviously this becomes a little bit uh, processor and graphics intensive render intensive because you have the particle system and a blurred particle system um, all right so so now we've got our smoke coming out here and we want it to be a little bit thicker and that is easy to do we're gonna play around with the birth rate and that just means we have more bubbles, more smoke appearing at once, and kind of start to see the effect there. It really, really has that smoke effect to it. Um, looks pretty, 
pretty realistic or at least realistic enough to get away with for a lot of uses um, you want your smoke to to live a live, live a little bit longer um, in, in which you can see is I'm just increasing the longevity so this means that those um, those particles that appear they're gonna die faster if you lower it if you make it higher they're gonna extend higher into the sky um, but that's about it. Um, again, if you wanted to do something more like an airflow, you can change the physics of it to, uh, let's try like twirly, see what that gives us. Well, that's headed the wrong direction. And that probably has to do with like the gravity that we put on it. Yeah, so if you do like that, so now we're getting a little bit more like a, a tornado type flow, but you can see if you were to go in here now and let's change those particle colors to something a little bit more cheery, um, something bright like that. And then let's bump that velocity back up a little bit and take some of that gravity off. I think we still have, you know, we don't have any more resistance on it, but uh, so take a look at that. And you can see you, you start to get different types of air. Um, you can also um, increase the Gaussian blur again add different blurs if you need to get a little bit of a different air effect take a look at that see what that looks like still kind of spinning um, and and the reason that's spinning is we have it set to twirly let's take a look at what vortex looks like there you go um, so so there you go there um, there is something that looks a little bit more like airflow that you might see uh, and one thing you'll notice, and I'm trying to remember if it's this program or another program. So you'll notice at the beginning of this, you know, the particle kind of births here. So there's there's no particles right at the beginning. And if you have a situation where you need them to be there from the beginning, let's see if it's this program. Yeah, there's another program that I use. I believe it's Blender, which will let you kind of set a negative start frame. Um, which is kind of cool because you can you can tell it you know start here um, but what I typically do in After Effects is kind of a hack is I just I just drag this this way um, and then it kind of starts in the middle so that's about it uh, if you have any questions or comments or a different way of doing this um, yeah yeah throw it in the comments below and if you liked this tip I'd appreciate a thumbs up and for more tips like this subscribe thanks just a real quick addendum because um, I figured this out actually making the little title card for this video is that um, you can get a little bit more control and a little bit nicer effect or uh, I mean not nicer but it's a little easier to work with if you make some adjustments on the particle to the birth and the death size so if you make the birth size larger and then that death size smaller um, you can get something that looks even closer to smoke. It just gives you, um, like I said, a little bit more control, maybe something a little bit more dynamic um, uh, and interesting and something that softens a little bit at the top there. So just wanted to add that on. And again, that's just some changes to the burst size and the death size under that particle setting.